Hello and welcome back to Cycle Fab. I'm Larry. I have a really interesting video for you today and I discovered this by sheer accident and it really surprised me. So I just wanted to share it with you guys and it has to do with how well or well rather how necessary it is to have a grounding rod for your powder coat system. A grounding rod that's just dedicated to that period. Now, I'll go over the little scenario with you in just a moment that happened that I discovered and just need to bring it to you guys. What I have here in front of me are just test plates, uh, just cheap metal, all right? Now, these have been bead blasted and acetone, so they're ready to go, and we're fixing to do that in just a moment. What happened is I was doing some work powder coating. And I was getting in a rush like I typically do and wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. Well, I started powder coating and well, everything was going as normal. And I took the first piece down, put it in the oven. Second piece I put up there and I just happened to glance down at the machine. Now it's the Harbor Freight that I was using at the time. And that's the one that I'll be demonstrating with you uh, in this video. So I got ready to do the second piece. I noticed the machine was off. I was able to powder coat with absolutely no electricity. Now, I did go back and powder coat the first part with the machine on just to make sure that I got a good even coat, but it shouldn't have done that. Uh, if, if there's no electricity going to the machine, it shouldn't have powder coated, but it did. The only thing that I can figure out is that the ground that I had connected to it the, with my ground rod was so strong that the inherent static electricity or the static charge of the particles coming out of the gun was enough to stick to the negative charged particles that I was powder coating just because of the, well, I'm sure the mixing tube had something to do with it, but also that grounding rod. So anyway, I want to do a little demonstration here to see if that actually works again and to get you guys to witness this. What I'll be doing, I'll be powder coating one in the same situation, same scenario with the machine off. Uh, the next one, I'll do it again with the machine off just to see if the powder will stick. But this time, I'm going to disconnect the ground rod to see what happens. So let's go ahead and get on with this and test this theory out. Say, so I just want to remind you guys, if you like this video, please hit that like button down below and subscribe to my channel. Also, go ahead and hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when the rest of my videos are coming up. So, let's get on with this. Now, I want to show you guys something. The gun's ready to go, okay? I've got powder in it, and it's set up, got the air pressure set on it, and everything else. Now, I'm working with the Harbor Freight. And if any of you who are familiar with the Harbor Freight, this button right here. Uh, it's in the off position, and when it's in on position, you know, it'll be glowing. And it's unplugged, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and blast this thing with powder and see if it sticks. Now, the grounding rod is connected to it. Uh, that's why I think it sticked in the first place last week when I was, you know, just powder coating and accidentally did not turn the machine on. Uh, so I'm real curious to see how this is going to work because... In the past, uh, before I made any modification or developments with the Eastwood or the Harbor Freight, as far as the diffusers go and the grounding rod, just as you would buy it from the store and use it in your own shop, uh, if you didn't have anything grounded at all and the power was off, it, the powder would not stick. It, it would just hit and fall down and that's it, nothing. So I'm really curious to see if this is going to work and you guys can be witness to it. So let's go ahead and try it. Okay, here we go. All right. You witnessed this. Uh, let me get it in frame here. This stuck. Now, did it stick as well as it would if I had the power on? No, of course not. But if I did not have that grounding rod connected to it, it would not have done this at all. So what I'm going to do now is I want to put another piece up there 
and set this one off to the side. I'm not going to actually put these in the oven. There's no reason for it. I'm, the video is about if the powder will stick, and obviously it does. But what I'm going to do now is put the other test sample up there, disconnect the grounding rod, and try that to see what kind of result we get. Okay, the grounding rod is disconnected. The machine is still off and obviously unplugged, okay? So, no grounding rod connected. Let's see what happens. Okay, it did stick a little bit, but not near what it did with the grounding rod connected to it. So anyway, just to let you guys know, a grounding rod is very, very necessary. Uh, like I said, there's no power going to this machine. So anyway, that's pretty proof to me that a grounding rod just by itself. Now I'm not saying powder coat without electricity or your machine on, that's not the point. The point of this video is to show you guys just how important a grounding rod really is. Oh, and something else, guys. Uh, before I leave, I just want to let you know that down below in the comments section are the links to eBay for my diffusers for the Eastwood and also the Harbor Freight. Now, the Harbor Freight one, you can buy the diffuser and the mixing tube separately or now I'm going to combine them so you can buy, you know, everything together so you don't have to pay double freight, which is, you know, stupid if you want everything. Anyway, uh, just check out the links below and uh, eventually I'll have the link for the full package for the Harbor Freight, the mixing tube, the column, the diffuser, everything in one package. So anyway, go ahead and check that out. I will probably just be having one video every two weeks now instead of one video a week. I'm just running out of time. Uh, I gotta keep the diffusers made, uh, plus what else I have going on in the shop as far as you know, walk-in customers go. So it, I'll try to get a video out every week, but more than likely it's gonna be one every two weeks now. And if any updates come, I'll uh, be sure and let you guys know. So. I hope you liked the video. If you did, hit that like button down below, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next week sometime. Bye.